Hello, it's Raelius. And Dragon Queen. Today we're messing around with AI Dungeon. Yeah. If you're not familiar with it, it's a porn generator. <laughs> not, not no. It's a it's an adventure game of sorts. If you're wily like that though, you can use it for whatever you want, all your nefarious plans, I don't know. Yes, this is where I escaped to visit my AI girlfriend. <laughs> now, uh, you could you could generate like completely open world um, like adventures, and like, like a lot of games say open world, but it's not true open world. Like you can't do whatever you want here. You could literally do whatever you want. As far as your imagination can go. Well, as far as the uh, large language model can handle. But um, it, but it's vast. Yeah. You, you could be an astronaut. You could be uh, a fantasy knight. Yeah. Anything. A zombie, a, a spirit. I've done, I've had all sorts of crazy stories. Like you can, and... The AI is pretty intuitive. Like some of the stuff it comes up with, you're like, "What the hell?" <laughs> yeah, and um, if if you want to continue a story from a canceled TV show, if you put enough input into it, you could you could do it. So mm -hmm. literally anything. It kind of reminds me of that game you used to play. Um, that game where you have to escape the planet. And it comes up with all these crazy stories. Oh, yeah. It was like a choose-your-own-adventure sort of thing, right? RimWorld? Well, yeah, RimWorld's like that, yeah. I don't remember. Anyway. <laughs> well, uh, the, the whole idea here, it's, it's pretty much what I thought um, like text games were when I was growing up. Like, like you would type in a command, and then you would do the thing. But when I played those games on the Commodore 64, <laughs> uh, like... Your age uh, is showing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, would, I would type go go east, but that wasn't pre-programmed into the game, so like there's nothing in, in the east, right? <laughs> but, but here, it'll just make it for you, so yeah. it's truly unlimited. Yeah, I like it. And you... And you can create like factions and different like sects of people yeah. and which is really cool and it just comes up with a whole like plan for them like a whole story like all you have to say is like Raelius is Dragon Queen's enemy and it will come up with this whole backstory about why we hate each other it's That's really right. cool <laughs> all right but uh speaking of the story mm-hmm Let's come up with a theme. Okay. Love it. So we'll, we'll kind of randomize it, but... Um, we're just going to put some options on the wheel and yeah. spin it, and almost like improv. <laughs> we're, just, <laughs> yeah. we're just going to build our story here and see see what we end up doing. This so, is the ultimate improv. What type of theme? You mentioned space. So okay. That could be one. What's another one? Well, fantasy, of course. Those uh, knights and mages and shit. Yeah. Um, are, I, we, are we doing zombies or are we staying away from zombies? We could do zombies if if it, you know, gets chosen. Right. Uh, it's always zombies. Why are zombies always taking over? What about like... Because I love zombies. <laughs> like, I do too. See, you like zombies. I love vampires. Vampires. I'm here for it. Okay, I've done a vampire story before. I have not, surprisingly. Yeah. All right, should we add another or are we good? Add, add another one, just like a really random one. A really yeah. random one. Um, the first thing that popped in my head. Evil unicorns. Oh, God. <laughs> what if that wins? <laughs> All right, well, let's just spin it. Let's see. Let's spin and see. Our fate lies on the wheel. Uh, and oh! 
<laughs> it's evil unicorns, guys. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> so are are you an evil unicorn, or is the entire world comprised of evil the, unicorns? Our, it's our theme of our story. So the world is comprised. It's it's a a land of evil unicorns. It, it's My Little Pony, <laughs> but they're all unicorns and they're all evil. And they're all well, most a lot. Well, some of them are unicorns, but yeah, it's it's My Little Pony. Dark. <laughs> okay, but uh, it's not really My Little Pony. No. Okay, okay, that, okay. that's great. All right, so next, uh, what, what is the name of our story? I don't know. Now that we have our theme of evil unicorns, yeah. What kind of what story name would would fit with evil a land of evil unicorns? Uh, let's come up with some prefixes first. Okay. See where I'm going with this. Return of the. Yeah. Revenge. Mm -hmm. I come up with some. Um. Uh, return of the revenge. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know. Uh, My brain is is offline. I don't know. Okay. Don't do that. What? Come on. Okay. <laughs> no. Um. I can't think. Come up with something else. Okay. Um. I'm just thinking Star Wars movies. <laughs> um. Uh. Well, okay. The falling. The falling. Of. Yeah. This was supposed to be, revenge of. The falling of, um, let's see, they're evil unicorns. So, um, invasion of. One more. One more. Um, I don't know, something versus something. <laughs> I don't know. What are what are these evil unicorns called? Well, we'll get to that next bit. All right, so mm. let's spin this. And we are on return of the, okay? Okay, now the main part. <laughs> um Saxons, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, come up with one. Uh, return of the triad. I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, let's say door goes oh. uh, with the E. Oh God, I hope we don't land on that. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't know. My brain, my brain isn't braining today. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's come up with something, right? You know, a child. They're they're very creative. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, horse breeds. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> terrible okay wait one more um i don't know uh what do you what do you call those valkyrie that's the word i was looking for you know horse how do you spell valkyrie no just, you know why <laughs> somewhere in there <laughs> valkyrie <laughs> i think it's a y r i e no y R I E, I think that seems okay. right. Maybe. Oh God. Possibly. Failed. If that is... I went to an American school. <laughs> don't don't worry, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's see which one of these. Return of the. Oh, I was right. <laughs> Valkyrie. <laughs> Valkyrie. Okay. This and is... now 
A this suffix. Is, this is interesting. A suffix? Yeah. Like? Continues. What? <laughs> Return of the Valkyrie continues? Um, Horde. Horde. Strikes back. What? <laughs> um, spawn. Come up with another one. Revengerance. Not, what? What? You're going <laughs> off the rails here. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. It means nothing. <laughs> One more. Um, queen. Why not? Okay. Return of the Valkyrie. Continues. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All right, we got a title now. So we're evil unicorn. Return of the Valkyrie continues. Yes. Okay, so within this world, right, you could be different, like, kinds of characters. Mm hmm So what class are you? I don't know. They're all evil unicorns, but they all have to do stuff. So just put stuff. Mage. Well, you said there were other things than unicorns, too, right? No, every being is a unicorn. Okay, every being is a unicorn, but you could be a knight unicorn. Yeah, I mean, like, they, there's other things, like, you know, other creatures, but I'm oh, just saying. the characters are. Yeah, in this land yeah. where they're from, they are evil unicorns. This okay. is what they are. I got it. I got but you it. could be anything. You said mage? A mage, carpenter, blacksmith, chef, like, you know, there's all the things. Blacksmith, chef. Okay, uh, we gotta have an archer in there. Mm hmm. Okay. You could, you could be anything. You can be. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's just go with that. Yeah, one fine. of these. Do we need one or two? We just need one. Do Unless I... you wanna do a combo. Do you need a roll? Oh, wait. No, no I'm you're, not going to. You're doing it. You, you're you're going to. I'm a chef. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are you going to succeed as a chef? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Can I have a secondary skill? <laughs> okay, fine. All right. So we got we got a chef. Um, but, all right. Just to even it out, I'm going to put a trap class here. Okay. <laughs> Scum sucker. No, uh, scum. Fuck? Yeah, scum sucker. What Why the not? hell does that even mean? I don't know. The AI will tell us. Oh my god. So if you want a second class, we have to add a trap. This class. is a secondary skill. I don't. I'm, what am I gonna do? Go into battle with my fucking knives? You're a chef knight. A chef knight. So okay. close to getting scum sucker. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful wheel. <laughs> Okay, so uh, you'll notice that we're on the beta version of AI Dungeon because we want to test out the new uh, memory system, and that's only available in the in the beta right mm -hmm. now. But uh, yeah, we'll go to play, and um, we'll do a quick start here. And it's not going to be any of these because we're doing something completely off the rails. <laughs> So we'll go to custom, and this first one, uh, we're going to talk about uh, what this story is about, like like the first prompt, I guess. So I will do that for you, but then you're going to react. To it, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, you are in the the world i guess the world of evil unicorns no we live in a land i guess of evil unicorns. the land mm. 
you are a, a chef slash knight, and you are really upset about it. No? Why would I be upset about being a chef slash knight? Okay. Are set upon by, and then we're just going to leave it blank there. Let the story tell us what happens next. Here we go. Oh no! Let's try again. Hopefully AI Dungeon isn't fucking up. It's <laughs> fucking up. No, oh, no! Poor timing. Mm -hmm. We're using Mixtral and we have the memory bank and auto summarization set up. <clears throat> Don't forget to mention that I'm also an evil unicorn. What if it tries to make me a weird person? True. The land of evil unicorns. And you said something about that I was a, a knight that was also a chef. And you said, and are set upon by. <laughs> <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's just start with this. Maybe it's just my input that's causing it to happen. Maybe. There, yeah, it was the input. Okay. The land of evil unicorns, blah, blah, blah. I don't really want to read all of this, so we could have my screen. The land of evil unicorns is a dark and foreboding place shrouded in shadows and filled with the howls of twisted creatures. As an evil unicorn, you have the power to strike fear into the hearts of all who cross your path. You stand in the center of a clearing, surrounded by twisted trees and thick underbrush. Interesting. Yeah, let me put that on a macro. Not an expression. Okay, let's see if I figure that out right. The land of evil yeah, unicorns yeah. is a dark and foreboding place, shrouded in shadows and filled with the howls <coughs> yeah, yeah, of yeah, twisted yeah. creatures. Continue. Okay, As so. As an evil unicorn, uh, you have the power to strike fear into it is the hearts your turn. of all who cross your path. You oh, stand gosh. in the center of a clearing, surrounded by twisted trees and thick underbrush. What are you going to do? Um, <clears throat> I feel like there's nothing yet to to do. Sure. I have nothing to react to. I'm just standing in a clearing. So, I mean, we... well, first thing, I'm going to add some plot essentials. I needed <clears throat> to know that you are a chef and a knight. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it can handle that. Um, so I would suggest to you just to ask, just to ask the world, what is my purpose? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to make it read this. As an evil unicorn, 
you have been wandering the dark lands of your kin for ages, seeking to spread your fearsome reputation and gather followers to your cause. <laughs> However, you begin to wonder why you are in this particular clearing, so far from any signs of civilization or other unicorns. It is as if something drew you here, some strange compulsion that you cannot quite put your finger on. Ooh, spooky. Very spooky. So, um... Yeah. You could make your own goal. What do you want to do is completely open-ended. What do I want to do? Yeah, Apparently... you're trying to get people to follow your cause, right? Right, but what is my cause? I have no idea. Make up your cause. <laughs> my cause. I want to overthrow the current queen and become ruler of the land. That's very fitting for someone who calls herself the Dragon Queen, right? Exactly. Okay. So that is my goal, to overthrow the current queen. Um, even though we're all evil unicorns, she takes evil to a whole like level that is just, you know, not, it doesn't sit well with the people. True. Even though we're all evil in nature, you know, people still got to live. They got rent to pay and stuff, you know? It's just a particular brand of evil. Yeah. Like, like not your normal evil where you, like, pick on the weak and the helpless. Right. But, like, you kill everybody, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's evil as in, like, Halloween Town, right? They don't know. Like, there's good people there. They just happen to be dark unicorns, like dark elves. They're sure. we're still people. Sure. Okay. <laughs> So That's how are you gonna how are you gonna get power? I don't freaking know. I'm gonna go stand in the middle of the clearing and and howl at the moon. I don't know. <laughs> do <it>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you could do a number of things. You could do, say, or interact with the story directly. Oh right, we didn't explain this. Okay. Yeah. So if you don't like what this says, you can click retry, and it will regenerate. Um, what's there yeah you can click continue and it'll just continue on in its own way sometimes you have to do that when the store there's like a weird lull and you're like well there's nothing for me to do yeah or you can take a turn and when you take a turn you can do something you can say something you can add to the story or you can see you can generate generate you can generate images <laughs> well speaking of that what does your evil unicorn look like well it's a she okay a she, yeah. Uh-huh. And she is black. Okay, like right her, right. like she's not a white unicorn. Like her, her fur is black. Okay. A like, female unicorn mm -hmm. with black fur? Sure. Hair? hair. I think okay. horses have. Yeah, they have hair. They don't, they don't <laughs> with, have fur, I, I guess. With black well, it has with black hair and um, with black hair and a purple mane. And a purple mane. Oh. Mane? <laughs> <laughs> I can't spell today. Mane, yeah. Ooh. The mane is purple. And um, yeah. And uh, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what kind of image we generate here. Oh my god. Um that's not a unicorn. That, what what? That's a person and I <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm looking at. That why might need to be censored. <laughs> why is the horn coming out the side of her head? Oh uh, <laughs> fucking stable diffusions. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but I said black. Hair. <laughs> right. At least that's within the realm, right? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is this, this is, is what this is what happens, guys. A black unicorn with a purple mane. God damn it, mane. <laughs> yeah. Fucking AI. Ugh. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's a Close little enough. a little 
<laughs> it's probably as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, staple diffusion <laughs> is not that great. But we will continue. Oh, oh, I wish you could have just done this under your account. It would have been so much better. But anyway, so that's. <laughs> Um, yes, we're going to walk to the middle of the clearing and, um, do, you, do unicorns howl? Uh, they no. do in this story. <laughs> Oh, to gain her power. Oh, sure. Why not? Let's see what happens. Let's see where the story goes. Okay, let's see. Oop, shit. Okay, here we go. You walk to the middle of the clearing, feeling the power of darkness coursing through your veins. You let out a loud, terrifying howl, hoping to gain the attention and favor of the moon, the ruler of the night sky. Nice. The moon, high above seems to take notice of your howl. A thin beam of moonlight shines down upon you, illuminating your dark form in a ghostly glow. Ooh. Wow. Interesting. So now you have moon powers. Moon powers. But um, the, the story gets more interesting when you find characters to interact with. Well, yeah. So I've got my moon suggest. power, and I need to ga gain followers to my cause so ugh. right okay so what are we gonna do <clears throat> head into town yeah um to find followers to, to help find followers me overthrow the queen Well, um, instead of me, you should always say you. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot about that. You head into town to find followers to help you overthrow the queen. Yeah. You make your way out of the clearing and into the dark land surrounding it. After some time, you come across a small, miserable looking town. <laughs> it is clear that the people here live in constant fear of something, and you see an opportunity to gain some followers. Yeah. You enter the town, your dark and fearsome presence causing the people to cower and scatter before you. You call out, demanding that they recognize your power and pledge their loyalty to you. <laughs> Dang, just straight up rude. I don't like ruling by fear. Well, you're an evil unicorn. What I know, else do you but... Have? They're taking the word evil, kind of. Eh, whatever. Moving on. <laughs> so do you want to continue or do you want to take a turn? Continue. A small group of brave, or perhaps foolish, townspeople <laughs> hesitantly approach you. They beg for mercy, saying that they will do anything to avoid your wrath. <laughs> wow. The townspeople are horrified at your demand, but after some frantic discussion among themselves, they agree to your terms. My terms? I didn't say anything. Well, yeah. So we have an option here. We could erase that part of it and just stick with that. Or you could you could say what your terms are here. Yeah. Um, I guess. My terms? Yeah. Um, I only want people that are loyal to the cause to overthrow the evil queen. Um, uh, and who will... follow me into battle and obey my commands? I don't know. <laughs> well, that's 
perfectly good. Obey my commands. All right. Let's see what they do in response to that. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Oops. The townspeople exchange nervous glances, but some of them step forward, eager to prove their loyalty to you. They speak of their hatred for the evil queen and their desire to see her overthrown. They pledge their allegiance to you and your cause, vowing to follow you into battle and obey your commands. As you gather your new followers, you begin to formulate a plan to overthrow the queen. Interesting. Yes. But who's the leader of these followers? Like somebody has to step forward as my second in command. Yeah, so you could ask them that. Yeah, so who has the skills to be my second in command? Is there an ask option? No, well, oh, okay. it's, it's say, yeah. Who has the skills to be my second in command? Let's add more question marks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me no! Who dares? <laughs> Let me put that in the campaign. All characters are unicorns. Yeah. So let, let's retry this one again. Because mm -hmm. it said man. Mm -hmm. Well, that yeah. might be fine, but. Yeah, one unicorn steps forward. Okay. Kind of screwed that up. Screwed the pooch there, didn't ya? You look over your new followers, searching for someone who stands out as a potential second in command. After a moment, one unicorn steps forward. They are tall and proud, with a fierce look in their eyes. Doesn't my screener doesn't like the quotes. Mm. Oh damn it. It won't read that one. I will serve as your second in command, the unicorn says. I have been training for battle my entire life, and I am loyal to your cause above all else. So, um, did he say a name? No, no. Didn't what is it? It didn't even say a gender, it just said there. So, what is your name? And preferred pronouns. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, I put a period. It doesn't matter. The AI doesn't care. Thunderhoof. <laughs> <laughs> he slash him. Oh, I, I got love it, it right. Mitch Told feels you. good. <laughs> I am Thunderhoof, and my preferred pronouns are he, him. The unicorn responds. I have waited for a leader like you, one who will strike fear into the hearts of our enemies and lead us to victory against the evil queen. As you hear Thunderhoof's yeah. words, you feel a surge of excitement and confidence. With a trusted second in command like him, your army will be unstoppable. All so, right, Thunderhoof. Yeah, <laughs> typically when I play when I play the normal game, I would have to put that in the plot essentials here. Like my second in command is um, Thunderhoof, but hopefully, hopefully the memory can remember that so if we click the uh, last message and go to view context you could see some details adventure memories we could look at the memories. so far we have zero memories so mm. uh, i think that only kicks in if we reach our context limit okay so i'll just put that here just to be safe thunderhoof Is. Good old Thunderhoof. That's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't even have a name. Yeah. Well, do you want to define your name or do you want the AI to generate it for you? Generate it for me. All right. So the trick is to go to story and do something like you say, my name is, and then just leave it blank. Mm hmm.
It didn't say anything. <laughs> Why? Why you never? <laughs> okay, so let's try changing models. That did not work. Usually it would work. <laughs> Yeah, it might might be due to the AI instructions. But, um, there we go. Dark Star. Llama three, Llama three saved us. Dark Star. My name is Dark Star. Oh, and I, I should uh, do the thing, right? I guess. Go ahead. Let's see if it works. Nope. It really doesn't like the quotes. Dark Star, and I'll address you as he. Now, let's get down to business. We have a queen to overthrow. You nod to Thunderhoof, and he nods back, a fierce glint in his eye. The other followers gather around, eager to hear your plan. Oops. You begin to outline your strategy, explaining that you'll need to gather more followers, gather intelligence on the Queen's army, and choose a strategic location to launch your attack. Nice. Don't they a good plan to me. <laughs> yeah. Dark Star, I really like that. Uh, so let's put that in the because I don't want it to get confused. Your dark star. Oops. What did you just do? I don't know. Oh, come on. Dark star. Yeah, it made a story summary. <laughs> oh, did it? Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. Okay, so let's read this. As an evil unicorn in the land of evil unicorns, you seek to spread your fearsome reputation and gather followers. You're drawn to a particular clearing, where you howl to gain the moon's power. You then head into a nearby town, intimidating the fearful populace into pledging their loyalty to you. Yeah, I, I don't know funny. about the memory system, but this auto summarization is like really on point. Yeah. Kudos, guys. <clears throat> All right. So what what what's next? Are you gonna delegate to uh, Thunderhoof? <laughs> yeah, Thunderhoof. So we need to gather more followers, gather intelligence on the Queen's army, and choose strategic location to launch our attack. So, I feel like gathering more followers is, you know, we need more people. I can't charge in a battle of like however many people. Well, let, let's start here where you're at. I know you already got some followers, but let's roll for it. Let's see yeah. if you could have absolute control. Okay. That, that's, that's why I have this 20-sided die up. So, when, when something's supposed to be difficult... You know, we can't just give it to ourselves. Let's let's create the odds. How how difficult is this going to be to get more followers from this location? Well, considering how easily these people rolled over, I don't think it's going to be that hard. Seven. Yeah, so if we roll better than seven, we gain absolute control. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, why did I do that? I was supposed to click roll. Oh, three. So, so what I usually... Wait, what? Was that the roll? I thought no, it so wasn't because you messed up. All right, you want to roll again? <laughs> yeah, because I didn't know what happened there. Okay, all right, fine. You confused me. So we hit roll. We got a 14. Yay. We're not cheating. <laughs> no, you confused me. I didn't realize that was your official roll because you said oops. So I was like, oh. So um, so if you don't meet the um, the intimidation check or whatever, I would say something like, you fail to, and then blah, blah, blah. Are we, uh, we're, um, incorporating a little D&D &D into this? Yeah, basically. <laughs> but, uh, since we succeeded, I say something like, you successfully, uh, take 
complete control over the village and uh, get all get all the residents to follow you. Mm -hmm. Something like that. <clears throat> oh, I'm supposed to read. Uh, read. You stand in the center of the village, surrounded by your new followers. Thunderhoof stands by your side, his eyes fixed intently on you as you address the crowd. You explain your plan to overthrow the evil queen, and the villagers listen with rapt attention. They seem to be completely under your control and they nod eagerly as you speak. As you finish your speech, a villager steps forward. Dark Star. Dark Star, we have a problem. Ooh, what's the problem? All right, you want to just continue? Yes. He really doesn't like those quotes. Where does the quote begin? Right there, oh, focusing yeah. on you. Yeah, there we go. The villager, a nervous-looking unicorn with a scar above his left eyebrow, glances around the crowd before focusing on you. We've had visitors. Strangers. They came to our village a few days ago, asking questions about the Queen's army. They seemed suspicious, and we didn't know what to make of them. We didn't tell them anything, of course, but we're worried they might come back. Mm. That's interesting. Mm. So what are you going to do? We've had visitors. Um, we're worried they might come back. Do you punish this villager for sowing uh, fear amongst the ranks? No. I mean, do you reward him? <laughs> I need all the information. I just came in and took over. I don't know what the hell's going on in this place. Yeah. So, you know, what we need to do is lure them to come back to town so that we could get information. Sound good? From them. Oh, from them. Yeah. They're asking about the queen's army. My question is, what? What do you? What? What do they want to know about the queen? Like, what is it? <laughs> what? What are you trying to find out? There's a lot of quotes in here. You're gonna. This yeah. screen reader you got needs to be. Okay, I got a solution for that because uh, this is terrible. Hold on. Put this one on the other screen. Eleven labs. There we go. Alright. So let, let's see if this works. Eleven labs takes a little long to to load. Thunderhoof nods in agreement, his ears perked up with interest. I can take a small group of our followers to scout the surrounding area. See if we can find any sign of these strangers. If we can, we can create a trap to lure them back to the village. He pauses, his eyes narrowing thoughtfully. But we'll need to be careful. If they're spies, they might be more dangerous than they seem. How interesting. I like the voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eleven Labs is really good, but they, they limit you on the number of characters. Right. Um, yes, do it. Do it. In all caps. Do it. <laughs> lots of exclamation. Oh my marks. gosh. <laughs> Yell at him. Do it. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's just keep on doing that until we run out of um, tokens or whatever. Tokens. Yeah. Quota remaining 1,791. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, Vanderhoof nice. nods and turns to a group of your followers. All right, let's move out. We'll search the surrounding area and see if we can find any sign of these strangers. He chooses a small group of unicorns, including a few with keen senses and quick reflexes, and they set off into the darkness. As they depart, you turn to the villager who spoke up. What can you tell me about these strangers? What did they look like? That's a continue. Yeah, right? continue. <clears throat> the villager swallows hard, his eyes darting around the crowd before focusing on you. They were unusual. One of them was a unicorn, with a coat as white as snow, but his horn was black as coal. The other was a unicorn with a coat that shifted and changed colour like the shadows on a moonless night. Mm -hmm. They wore cloaks with hoods so we couldn't see their faces. They asked questions about the Queen's army, about its strength and movements. Mm. Maybe these people might be allies. Why? Right. They seem like... Knights. I'm a knight. Maybe I recognize them. Being as how I used to be a um, a knight in the queen's army. Mm. That's your backstory. Your tragic backstory. My tragic backstory. Oh, woe to me! <laughs> I used to be a knight in her court, so you know I recognize the men you described. They are knights. Oh, here's a trick. Uh, if you do a forward slash and type say, you you go right into say. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, what exactly did you say? Um, I recognize the men you described. They are knights in the queen's army. Have them brought to me unharmed. Well, they were gone, but they'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Word travels fast. <laughs> you nod to the villager, and he nods back, relief washing over his face. We'll do our best to capture them, Dark Star. But what do you plan to do with them once we have them? Thunderhoof returns with his scouting party his ears perked up with excitement. We found their trail, Dark Star. They're heading east towards the Queen's castle. We can follow them and set up an ambush. Oh. What's your order, my queen? My new queen? <laughs> um. Do it. But be very careful. Those men are knights in the Queen's army. We must Those are knights. Or they are knights, or those are knights, whatever. It doesn't matter. In the Queen's army. And what what else? Um It's time like we need to find out if they are friends or foes. Thunderhoof nods, his eyes gleaming with a fierce intensity. I'll lead the ambush, Darkstar. We'll take them by surprise and bring them back to you unharmed. <laughs> he turns to his scouting party, and they set off once more into the darkness, following the trail of the suspicious unicorns. As you wait for Thunderhoof's return, you pace back and forth in the centre of the village, your mind racing with possibilities. Yeah, continue. Continue... 
You're gonna run out of characters. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for uh, 11 labs. Let's see. Uh -huh. You continue to pace, your hooves clicking on the stone pavement. The villagers watch you, their eyes fixed on you with a mixture of awe and fear. You can sense their unease, but you know it's necessary to maintain control. Suddenly, you hear a commotion at the edge of the village. Thunderhoof and his scouting party return, their faces tense and focused. What happened? All right, let me see if I could just copy this into Notepad. really doesn't like quotes no all right fine Let's do this the hard way thunderhoof approaches you his eyes locked on yours we set up an ambush just as you ordered dark star we caught them off guard but they put up quite a fight we managed to subdue them but not before they sent out a distress signal. We don't know if anyone received it, but we need to be prepared for the possibility of reinforcements arriving soon. He pauses, his chest heaving slightly from exertion. Oh, action's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Do you have time to interrogate these guys, or are you just gonna prepare for a fight? Um, we need to prepare for a fight in case a stress signal is received. In the meantime, we get as much information from them as possible. I'm typing as fast as I can. <laughs> There's quotes in there. You don't pay attention, do you? Nope. Thunderhoof nods, his ears folding back slightly as he gestures to the two unicorns being held by your followers. We've got them right here, Dark Star. They're not talking, but I'm sure we can persuade them to cooperate. He eyes the prisoners, his gaze cold and calculating. Mm, he doesn't know that I know them. Because I used to be a knight. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you want to do a, a an intimidation check? But I know them. Okay. What What are we? Why would I intimidate them? Well, you you might have a way with words to get them to spill all of the beans. Would that be an intimidation check, though, or would that a charisma be... check? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So what are the odds? I don't know. I mean, given the fact that I know exactly who they are, we served in the court together, but I, I don't know what's happened since I left or since I was banished, fucking bitch. Oh. So I don't know if there are still friends or, you know, but it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. So would you say 10 is fair? 10 is fair. All right, let's Good. see. Oh, God damn it. All right, this one doesn't count. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. Okay, this one counts. Ten. Oh, oh. God, <laughs> the worst possible. Um, so, I'll do, do. You try to use your knowledge of these unicorns. Having been... Having served in the Queen's court. 
But see, I don't want that to come out right away, though, because if they don't recognize me since I've been banished, I don't want them to know that I know who they are. So maybe I tried to use my knowledge of the queen. To get them to talk, but it failed. You know what I mean? You're not, you, you didn't just fail. You critically failed. <laughs> a one is like super bad. I know. Get them to talk. However, you critically failed. And let's make it more ridiculous. In a comedy of errors. <laughs> well... You approach the prisoners, a confident smirk on your face. <laughs> you're sure that your knowledge of the queen will be enough to intimidate them into spilling their secrets. You clear your throat, trying to sound as menacing as possible. Oh, you two are knights in the queen's army, huh? Well, let me tell you something. I know all about the queen's little secrets. I know about her favorite foods, her favorite colors, and her favorite ways to torture her enemies. Nice. <laughs> Those are words that probably haven't been combined before. Oh, you continue, trying to sound as convincing as possible, but your words come out stilted and awkward. I know she has a weakness for dark chocolate, and that she's terrified of, of, uh, clowns. Yeah, that's it. Clowns. The prisoners exchange a skeptical glance, and one of them snorts in amusement. You think you're intimidating us with that, Dark Star? <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna let them talk to you like that? Say, um... Like, so you have no intention of revealing your secrets to me. You don't pay attention at all. Yeah, there's a quote in there, God damn it. Okay. The prisoners, still smirking, shake their heads in unison. The white unicorn with the black horn speaks up, his voice dripping with amusement. You're not even close, Dark Star. The queen's favorite food is actually starlight sugar cookies, <laughs> and her favorite color is midnight blue. And as for her weaknesses, let's just say it's not clowns. <laughs> he chuckles, a cold, mirthless sound. What the fuck is mirthless? Like, it, he's laughing, but there's no amusement okay. at all. Well, well I'm just going to do this. I want to undo it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What is mirthless? I can't. It means without joy or amusement and cold, empty laughter. You got it right. Good job, dude. Duh. Okay. I know. Let's, I know words. <laughs> let's erase that. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Now, now is the time where I'm just gonna reveal who I am. Sure. Yeah. And um, so I don't want to say anything. I want to do or. I need to do and say something at okay, the same time. There's a way to do that. So we're going to pick do. Okay, what are you doing? Calling my moon power to make me glow all over. Make you glow all over. Period. And then what do you say? Say, um... I want to say 
<laughs> what the heck? I'm, I'm, I'm a bitchy on the trigger, you know. Um, I thought this would be easy. But apparently I have to force the information out of you. Um, all right, so we got to roll for this, but it's a lot easier since you have moon power. So how difficult is it? Three. Three. Okay. Good. Roll. Thank you. <laughs> Don't click on the. Ah! Okay. This, you... this, I, you're thwarting me. I need to do a thing. <laughs> like, and you're, this is really irritating. Oh, okay. All right. Let, let's, let's do it a little different. That one didn't count. Okay. <sighs> So since you're using your moon power, you have advantage, okay? So it's the best of the two. Let's roll again. <laughs> I really wanted to see a critical failure. Though. No, because <laughs> I have the moon power and I just need them to know who I am. I need to build my backstory into this story. Okay. I'm not there yet. All right, so... Um, Hold on. Okay. You call on your moon power to make you glow all over you say, I thought this would be easy, but apparently I have to force the information out of you. And I'm going, I want to like build my, my. I wanted to like reveal my backstory at this point. So I wasn't done talking. Okay. So um, one trick that I just learned is if you put brackets, mm -hmm. you could give instructions to the, uh, the AI. So um, maybe this will work. I haven't tried it yet. You, you reveal that my backstory uh i reveal that that you reveal that my true name is actually shara uppercase s-h-a-r-e i guess i don't know shara okay yeah. let's see if that works wait oh i'm not done you're not done you reveal that you reveal that my true name is or your. Oh, yeah. I was just, <laughs> I was just parroting everything you said. I know. Your true name is actually Shara, the once feared knight to the queen that was banished. Some time on ago. Tuesday. <laughs> on a Tuesday. Uh, can't even say. Some time ago. Okay. And you know, the, my moon power reveals the truth of who I am. Ah, uh, that's too much. Let, I'm just, just saying no. that they they will believe me because of the moon power. Okay. Let's just do it. Yes. You raise your head, and a faint, ethereal glow begins to emanate from your body. The villagers gasp in awe, and even Thunderhoof takes a step back, his eyes wide with surprise. The prisoners, however, show no fear, their smirks still plastered on their faces. As the glow intensifies, you feel a surge of power coursing through your veins. You can feel the moon's energy responding to your call, amplifying your magic. Continue. Yeah, I don't know if it. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, the story must continue. The prisoner's eyes narrow, their amusement replaced by a calculating intensity. The white unicorn with the black horn speaks up, his voice laced with a hint of curiosity. Shara, the banished knight. We've heard stories about you. You were once the queen's most trusted advisor, but you were consumed by your own ambition. You tried to overthrow her, but you failed. And now, you're trying to do it again. Oh, say. <laughs> say. Oh, okay. Lies. She's obviously... Um... Altered. What <laughs> the hell? She's obviously altered events to um, portray herself as the victim. As 
The white unicorn with the black horn raises an eyebrow, his expression unreadable. Altered events? You mean, like how you manipulated the moon's power to intimidate this village into allegiance? Or how you're using that same power to try and extract information from us? <laughs> he pauses, his gaze piercing. We know all about your tactics, Shara. We've been warned about your kind. <laughs> they know everything about They don't know you. anything. It's all lies. <laughs> you better punish these guys. They are clearly not being swayed by your, your words. I understand, but I'm just saying. It's, it's <laughs> lies. The moon's power isn't, isn't about that. They don't know. <laughs> you do, I don't know, say or do something. Okay, this I'm is gonna... taking too much of my brain power. Smack him with your hoof. Knocking with, with such ferocity. It knocks a tooth out. The prisoner's head snaps back, and he spits out a tooth, his eyes flashing with anger. The other prisoner takes a step forward, but Thunderhoof's swift intervention stops him, his horn pressed against the prisoner's chest. Easy, friend. Thunderhoof warns, his voice low and even. Let's not make this any worse than it needs to be. The prisoner you struck glares at you, his face twisted in pain and fury. Okay. It's, it's, uh... A do and a say. Okay. What do you want to do and say? Mm. You've been manipulated by the queen. If that's a do, shouldn't that be a say? I'll get it. Okay. Um... You've been manipulated by the queen. Let me show you the truth. Let me show you the truth. And then just use your moon magic to everybody. Everybody could just know the truth of what actually happened. To right. everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Now, are we going to roll for this one, or you don't give a fuck about that? I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> All right. When do we go in combat, though? That's fine. Yeah. You raise your hoof. <laughs> <laughs> you raise your hoof, and the moon's energy surges through you once more. The air around you begins to shimmer, and a soft, Pulsing light envelopes the villagers, Thunderhoof, and the prisoners. The light grows brighter, and suddenly, visions begin to play out before everyone's eyes. The visions show your past, your time as the queen's trusted advisor, your growing ambition, and your ultimate betrayal. Yeah. The visions continue, revealing the queen's manipulation and your banishment. The villagers' eyes widen in shock, and Thunderhoof's expression turns grave. The prisoners' faces, however, remain unreadable. As the visions fade, the silence is palpable. The villagers exchange uneasy glances, and Thunderhoof steps forward, his voice low and measured. Dark Star, it seems we've been deceived. The queen's power is far greater than we thought. 
Okay, well, that went a direction, didn't it? In a way, whatever. I don't know what the betrayal was. No one cares about that. It's not important. All right, well, um, do you want to get into the action, or do you want to... Well, I want to know why they were here asking about the Queen's army. Question marks. There we go. Motherfuckers. Thematic effect. I need to know these people's names. The white unicorn with the black horn. Uh -huh. What's his name? <laughs> the white unicorn with the black horn, still nursing his injured mouth, speaks up, <laughs> his voice laced with a hint of amusement. We weren't asking about the Queen's army, Shara. We were asking about you. We've been tracking your movements, trying to understand what drives you, what makes you tick. He pauses, his gaze piercing. You see, we're not just any ordinary knights. Ooh, where is this going? He leans forward, his eyes glinting with intrigue. We're part of a secret organization, one that's been watching you from the shadows. We've been waiting for the perfect moment to strike, to take you down and put an end to your schemes once and for all. Oh my goodness. So, now that you know the truth, join me. You and your secret organization. Let's see. Without rolling, I don't know. I don't know. If it's wow. Over. You don't know what to do unless you roll. Oh my God. <laughs> the white unicorn with the black horn raises an eyebrow, his expression skeptical. Join you. After what you've done, you expect us to trust you. He spits out the words his tone dripping with disdain. You're a traitor, Shara. You betrayed the queen, and now you're trying to manipulate us into joining your cause. He shakes his head, his horn glowing with a faint, pulsing light. We're not that easily swayed. That makes no sense. You just saw the truth. You are the one that just admitted that you've been manipulated, but now you're still calling me a traitor. No, Thunderhoof said that. Thunderhoof said what? That, um, and Thunderhoof steps forward, his voice low oh. and measured. So the white unicorn didn't say that. What is his name? I need him to have a name. Okay, so here's another trick. We could go to story mode and then put two, um, semicolons and... Like, what is the, there was the white unicorn with the black horn. What is the white unicorn's name? And the other one. I don't even know what he looks like. Do you remember? I have no idea. <laughs> Raven Blackwood. The Lunar Watchers. The oh, Lunar Watchers. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't remember the other one. <laughs> the white unicorn with the black horn's name is Raven Blackwood, a member of the secret organization known as the Lunar Watchers. Oh, way back here. No, keep going. This oh, is when the villager tell described me when to you me. see it then. Because uh, I can't really read from all Stop. There. Okay, stop. White unicorn with black horn. Stop. And the other one shifted colors. The other was a unicorn with a coat that shifted colors. All right. We could do something as simple as uh, what is the other <laughs> unicorn's name? Like the other prisoner, or I guess the other knight? I don't know. Lyra 
of frostbite. Ooh, that's a name. Um, I mean, they never gave me their names. So if I just say it, maybe they might be like, well, what? How did you know our names? I don't know. Uh, wait. Did you? So this just got generated with this. If you don't want this, I could erase it. That that little bit, you know. Or, yeah. Yeah. Erase. Yeah. Okay. That's we just wanted the name. Okay. So now what? Okay. Join you. Blah blah blah. Where? What is it? the white unicorn? Do we need to put that in the memory? Cause I ain't gonna. Well, if we kill them, then there's no need to put in the memory. If they join us, I, I might consider that necessary. Raven Blackwood. Lunar Watchers. The other prisoner's name is Lyra Frostbite, a skilled warrior and Raven's partner in the Lunar Watchers. Uh -huh. yeah, so far, this should all be in the context. Let's see. Um, what, what, what context means? Oh, uh, we're already working on the memory. Like, like, since I'm a champion member, I only get 2,000 tokens per message. So most of it's spent on the adventure. Then it has to forget, like, like the earliest parts of the story. <laughs> but if we look at the details, look at the memories, we got a few memories now. It's remembering that we uh, went to the village. We got their loyalty. Um... You're an evil unicorn. And... It's going from back to up. Yeah. Okay. So it, it's going to remember that stuff. It's it's working, basically. <laughs> so I'm just going to say... <clears throat> um, You're going to say... We're not that easily swayed. Um... Raven Blackwood and Lyra, say their name. Raven Blackwood and Lyra Frostbite um, That's a mouthful. From now the, on I'm saying Lunar, Raven and Lyra. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to say the whole thing. Yeah. Well you could just say Raven and Luna if you want. But, no. <laughs> um, of the Lunar Watchers. Of the Lunar Watchers. Period. Period. <laughs> Not going to react anymore to my antics. No. Okay. <laughs> um. As she sits there in deep contemplative <laughs> thought. Are you so bound by loyalty that you refuse even what your own eyes have seen? You could always roll for it. And if you roll for it, you could make them. <laughs> what, what, is, what am I even rolling? Well, okay, so you say this, they're going to respond. Let's see yeah, what, let's they, see respond what they respond with. Because they never told me their names, I just said it. Yeah, for now on, there's... Raven Blackwood's expression remains unyielding, his gaze fixed on you with a mix of contempt and curiosity. Our loyalty is to the truth, Shara. And the truth is, you're a master manipulator, <laughs> using your moon power to bend others to your will. You may have deceived these villagers, but you won't deceive us. Lyra Frostbite steps forward, her eyes flashing with a fierce intensity. We've seen the visions, Shara. Sure, but vision. It's a good point, though. You know, um, if someone had that kind of power, they could whip up any sort of story. But that's not what Lyra the Frostbite power does. continues. We know what you're capable of, but we also know what drives you. You're driven by a desire for power, for control. And we won't let you use us to further your own ambitions. Thunderhoof clears his throat, 
his voice interrupting the tense atmosphere. Dark Star, perhaps it's time we reassessed our plan. We can't trust these, Lunar Watchers. So if we roll for it, this is how I do it in my games. If I roll for it and I win, I'm just going to say in the story, you've successfully changed their minds miraculously through the power of moon magic, something like Whatever, that. Whatever, and I now have the loyalty of Raven Lyra and the Lunar Watcher. Yeah, if you want it that bad, but you have to roll for it because you can't just wield okay, absolute so power. Okay, roll it. What's, what's the... Uh, What's the DC check? Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking like, I know obviously way more than they know. I do have my moon power, so I could make them do whatever I want. Although I'm trying to get them to do it on their own free will, but right. I, I don't know. You, you think 10 again, or is that too high? Uh, I usually go with 10 for things that could go either way. It's one out of two, right? Right. Uh, are, so are you using your moon power or you're not? Yeah. Okay, so that is advantage. All right. Let's see, out of the two. Oh, good thing you did advantage because you would have lost, but... Maybe. The first die could have been 18. Yeah, true. Okay, so... Using your moon magic... You convince um all right, I have to remember these weird Lyra names. Lyra and Raven. And you know. What? The and the lunar watchers too. Oh. <laughs> Lyra, Raven, and the Lunar Watchers. So I got their whole their whole band. You could say anyway if you want. Oh, I want. I want. <laughs> so to move things along, we're going to um, just initiate a, a battle. Let, let me just read this one. You focus your energy channeling the moon's power to sway the lunar watchers. The air around you begins to shimmer, and a gentle, persuasive light envelopes Raven and Lyra. Your magic whispers sweet nothings in their minds, eroding their resolve, making them question their loyalty to the truth. Raven's gaze falters, his expression softening ever so slightly. Lyra's eyes waver, her determination wavering. Okay. Uh, just to move the plot along, suddenly, the queen's forces attack! <laughs> Led by the queen herself. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Why would she come? That's Putting funny. herself in a vulnerable position is questionable. <sighs> But she really, really <laughs> hates Shara. <laughs> okay. You stand tall, your moon magic still resonating around Raven and Lyra as the Queen's forces burst into the village. The sudden chaos doesn't deter you, and you maintain your focus on the Lunar Watchers. Your magic continues to whisper persuasively in their minds, making them question their loyalty to the truth. Raven's eyes flicker, his gaze darting between you and the queen's forces. That's funny. What's your command? Just rip them to shreds. Oops. Rip them to shreds. Thunderhoof's ears perk up at your command, and he charges forward, his hooves pounding the ground as he gallops towards the queen's forces. The villagers, still under your moon magic's influence, 
follow suit, their eyes glazed over as they attack the queen's soldiers. <laughs> it makes it seem like <laughs> I, they're Lyra, mindless drones. Still wavering yeah. under your magic's influence, hesitate for a moment before they too join the fray. Um, so, you want to finish this up, or do you want to continue it? In the essence uh, of time, which we are tight on, mm -hmm. we... I don't know where you want this uh, little video to end. So. Let's let's kill the queen. Kill Why not? Her, kill the, her dead. The the minions are like fighting, right? Yeah. All right. So <laughs> let's just let's just roll for it. Okay. Using your moon magic, do you kill the queen? What's the difficulty? It's probably hard to kill a queen, right? Yeah. Fifteen. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 this oh, doesn't count. I, I, damn. Keep, I keep clicking it. All right, let's roll 15 DC. Oh, we did it! Barely. <laughs> <laughs> you confront the queen in single combat. Let's just start with that. I should force her to reveal the truth of everything before I kill her. Yeah. So that people know that I wasn't lying. The queen, her majestic coat glistening in the moonlight, eyes blazing with determination, charges towards you. Her horn glows with a fierce, pulsing light as she prepares to strike. You, unfazed, raise your own horn, channeling the moon's power to fuel your magic. The air around you crackles with energy as you and the queen clash, your horns meeting in a burst of light and sound. So we successfully overpower her. The queen's horn shatters, its fragments scattering across the ground as you assert your dominance. <laughs> Dang, the queen stumbles no back, her eyes wide with shock and anger. You take advantage of the momentary weakness, your moon magic surging forward to ensnare her. The queen's struggles are futile as you bind her with your magic, <laughs> rendering her helpless. As the queen's forces falter, Thunderhoof and the villagers continue their relentless assault. Alright, this is your chance. What, what do you say to her? I don't know. Just, I don't know. Force her. She just needs to tell the truth. Just force her to speak the truth of what really happened. Between us, I guess. All right. This is, this is the final stroke of our story. Let's see. The queen's eyes flash with defiance, but your moon magic holds her in its grip. You lean in, your voice low and menacing. Tell them, your majesty. Tell them the truth about our past, about what really happened between us. The queen's lips curl into a snarl, but she can't resist the power of your magic. You, you were once my most trusted knight. She spits out the words. You were my confidant, my friend. Uh-huh, and then what did you do, you horrible bitch? Yeah, you whore. <laughs> <laughs> Slut whore. The queen's voice cracks as she continues. That's, this is, no, this is not true. This is not true? Okay, retry? No, this, she says... Hold on. The queen's voice cracks as she continues, but you grew ambitious. You sought power beyond your station, and I, I caught you in the act of treason. I should have had you executed, but I spared your life, hoping you would learn from your mistakes. The queen's eyes blaze with anger, but her voice is laced with a hint of sadness. Instead, you fled, and I was led to deal with the consequences of your betrayal. And, and then force her. Like, I said, tell them the truth. <laughs> more, you know, more lies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go right in the story. That was actually <laughs> a lie. Um, 
through the power of um, authorship, I hereby <laughs> force her to tell the real truth. The real truth. Revealing my innocence and Revealing her treachery. Shara's innocence. It's and a lot of ends. <laughs> and what? And her treachery. Her treachery. She's also a bitch. <laughs> right? Fucking whore. <laughs> Let's see how it reacts to that. <laughs> She's also a bitch. The queen's expression twists. <laughs> Her eyes flashing with anger and shame. Fine. She spits out the words. I'll tell the truth. Shara was innocent. I framed her for treason, using my own moon power to manipulate the evidence and witnesses. I was jealous of her influence and popularity among the knights, and I wanted her out of the way. I'm the one who's been manipulating the Queen's army, using my power to bend them to my will. Yeah, bitch. Alright, All right, so... <laughs> uh, okay, th this is gonna be the last action of the game. Yeah. Are you gonna have mercy on her? No, fuck that. You're gonna execute her? Hell yeah. Okay, so... Execute her in some gruesome way? Yes. Uh huh? Uh, are you gonna say it directly? No, I wonder what the AI will come up with. You execute... Her, for her crimes in the most gruesome way possible. And then in the quotes, relish, or in the brackets, relish in the gruesome details. Yeah. She's also a bitch, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you raise your horn, and a dark, swirling vortex erupts from the tip, engulfing the queen. The air around her begins to distort, as if reality itself is warping to accommodate your malevolent will. The queen's eyes widen in terror as she realizes her fate. With a twisted sense of satisfaction, you begin to manipulate the vortex, shaping it into a twisted, nightmarish form. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, this is, I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> the queen's body begins to contort and twist, her limbs elongating and morphing into grotesque, inhuman shapes. Her skin turns a sickly oh. shade of green and her eyes bulge from their sockets as if about to pop out. Oh my god. The air around her seems to ripple and churn, as if the very fabric of reality is being torn apart by your dark magic. Dang! The they really got begins twisted. to contort and twist, her limbs elongating and morphing into grotesque, inhuman shapes. Oh, I sang again. Her skin Why turns a sickly hidden? shade of green, and her eyes bulge from their sockets as if about to pop out. The air around her seems to ripple and churn, as if the very fabric of reality is being torn apart by your dark magic. As the queen's screams echo through the village, Thunderhoof and the villagers, still under your moon magic's influence, continue their relentless assault on the queen's forces. Raven and Lyra, now fully entranced, fight with a ferocity that's almost feral. The queen's soldiers, vastly outnumbered and outmatched, begin to falter and flee. The villagers, Fueled by your magic, give chase, <laughs> hunting down the fleeing soldiers with a merciless intensity. So, uh, it, the AI made you this mind control freak. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> but you just have to go with it. That's just the have story. To go with it. Apparently, my moon magic is mind control and... Like, am I really the evil one, or did I manipulate her into, like, now I don't know. We're so evil, we manipulated the story to <laughs> to bend to our will, and we tortured the poor queen. <laughs> yeah. So what did you think about this story? It was interesting. Yeah. Went in some, some interesting directions. I like the names they came up with. It was pretty cool. 
Oh, let, let, let's let's get the uh, synopsis of this whole story. Let's see. As an evil unicorn, you dominate a town using moon power and Thunderhoof's help. You manipulate captured knights to extract secrets, but they remain unfazed. Shara accuses you of manipulation, That's but wrong. you expose her <laughs> own betrayal and banishment. Right. Thunderhoof admits your deception, revealing you were tracking Shara, not the Queen's army. I guess they're talking about Shara the proposes guys. to Raven Blackwood and Lyra Frostbite of the Lunar Watchers to join her cause, but they reject due to her manipulative use of moon power. Using moon magic, you convince Lyra, Raven, and the Lunar Watchers to join you despite their initial reservations. When the Queen's forces attack, your magic persuades the villagers and the Lunar Watchers to fight back. You engage in single combat with the Queen, fueling your magic with the moon's power. And it didn't get the recent events because yeah. they just happened, but yeah. That was kind of odd, but it yeah. was interesting. <laughs> yeah, because the synopsis like gets edited multiple times. I'm sure it got confused at some point. But... Yeah. But it's not a um wasn't a bad story for something we just did on the fly. Yeah. So that was pretty good. It's a good example of like the type of things you could do in the story. Yeah, you, you cannot find a game about this specifically no. out there. No. There are hardly any unicorn games. And trust me, <laughs> I would know. <laughs> well, all right. Thank you, Dragon Queen. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll try another game next time. Bye. Bye.